Jacqueline. You feeling all right? I'm fine, Mother. I can suspend my schedule and stay with you at the hospital. No, you have to go. Your campaign. You're going to win. It's important. You're important. I'll check on you every few hours, and I will be there for that operation. Senator? Yes. Your flight leaves at 10 minutes. You take good care of her, and no press. I want her strong for that operation. Anything she wants. I'll handle it. Good luck, Senator. Thanks. All right, take her to X-ray. Stan. I got someone for you to see. I can't see anyone Jackson. Jacqueline Taylor's due here any minute. Get that card out of here, please. Oh, come on. She's just some politician's daughter. Some politician? That is Senator Taylor chairs the Senate Health Committee. Move these wheelchairs, please. Come on, it'll just take a minute. You gotta see this. I want this floor spotless. Spotless. Low-grade abdominal pain with frequent acute attacks. This is Dr. Riverside. Yes, I know. I sense good vibrations from you, Doctor. Uh, okay, let's have a look, Mr. Uh, Govinda. Just Govinda, as you must. Mm-hmm. Mm. Good. Uh, let's just... You mean nausea? Vomiting? My body will occasionally do so. So where's that music coming from? Oh, I'm sorry. Does this impede you? My apologies. All right, uh, we would like to admit you for some tests, Govinda. It is as my followers said. Oh, you have followers? Yes. I will, of course, cure myself. However, they insisted that I come. Their faith is not yet whole. All right. Test me. It is your destiny. Destiny. Uh, Jackson, start with an upper and lower GI gallbladder series, you know. I swear, I have seen him somewhere before. Yeah, I knew a guy with three eyes in St. Louis. She's here. Ooh, all right. Let me go. Let me go. I'm McGregor, Miss Taylor's assistant. Uh, how do you do? Uh, Miss Taylor, Dr. Riverside, Chief of Emergency Services, if there's anything I can do to help. I appreciate your support. Yeah, very good. Now, we've set up the presidential suite. We'll require a normal private room. But then I decided that you'd probably want a normal private room. Mr. Mm. Nicolosi called for East immediately. Right away, Doctor. And I'd pull a few strings and got a new suite at the Fairview. I'll settle for a cot outside Miss Taylor's room. But we realized you'd probably want to be at Miss Taylor's side 24 hours a day around the clock. Mr. Nicolosi call housekeeping. You see, my mother is a woman of the people. No special privileges for any of us. Of course, of course, I understand. I like to think of myself as a regular Joe. Mm. The intersection in uh, chemotherapy worked for a while, but it was rough. Yeah, how long since you lost one? Six months? Eight. I don't know how you feel. Lois Keeping Jenkins. Uh, I saw him in the gift shop. Is that for me? Oh, it's a Christmas gift for my Aunt Minnie. Last Christmas or this Christmas? Don't you have a busy day? Oh, yeah, I got a good personal gift for me. Well, let's go. Let's keep on the schedule, okay? Did uh, Sandra's kid arrive? Yep. I uh, heard the working diagnosis was uh, fibromuscular hyperplasia. Bypassing a graft? No. McIntyre gets a kick out of balloon angioplasty. <laughs> my little specialty, right, Trap? Pete, good to see you. Ever, this is my friend Peter Jenkins from Los Angeles. I believe we've met, sir. Yes. Washington Medical about a year ago. You were up for Big Cheese, chief of surgery or something, right? Yeah, well, they were uh, foot dragging. I couldn't wait around. <laughs> Incredible place, Trap. And the salaries, uh, expense accounts, extras, all kinds of perks. Yes, I know. I heard already. Too many times, huh, Trap? <laughs> You're still up for it? Who knows? They stopped calling. But I stopped calling them because I wasn't particularly interested anymore. I like it here. Peter. McIntyre wants a review on the angioplasty. Uh, 
a little brush up on a cadaver, right? Well, I haven't done one in a few months, you know. Ready whenever you are. It's uh, been a while since I've done one of those myself. Well, uh, join us if you have the time. You wouldn't mind? Why not? As long as you don't chew gum. Can't stand chewers. It looks on target. Yep. Bullseye. Inflate the balloon. Nice and easy. Go to five atmospheres. Big incision, no general anesthetic, no blood transfusions. A day or so, she's up and around. <laughs> Ain't science grand. <clears throat> What's your hurry? I'm running a little behind. I've got a meeting. Go, go. You pass. Flying colors. Mail the merit patch from the Riviera. Medical conference. Fine work, John. Thanks for stopping by. No problem. I'm glad I don't have his schedule. Not even time to back the catheter out. Oh, well, he's done it often enough. You want to do it? Just for the hell of it? Why not? Hey, have we got time for the whole procedure? Come on. Anyway, she was magnificent, but uh, my back's been bugging me. <laughs> Nothing seems to work. Did you ever try one of those gravity gizmos, you know, upside down? Okay. Yeah. The utilization committee is just giving me some figures. You have the slowest turnover rate in this hospital. Well, maybe I get the sickest patients, Arnold. You ever think of that? We need the beds. Now, you've got to get your lighter patients out faster. It, uh, just a second here, Arnie. I'm sure with today's cost, Gates isn't keeping people here on a whim. He's one of your best men. He didn't have to explain himself to you or that committee. Right? Right. Well, uh, you may have a point. I'll, uh, I'll talk to them. Thank you, Everett. Gates? Bureaucrats, they're always causing trouble. Mm hmm You've been hassling McIntyre, too? About the contract? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Must be up for renewal soon, huh? Well, actually, Trav's been working without one. <laughs> He's old and expired. Hey, I like that. I do. <laughs> Sometimes you have to toss the rule book and just keep going, you know? <laughs> hey, later. Okay. Off the record, Dr. McIntyre, is it getting higher? Only slightly. <clears throat> what is it? Headache. Um, could I possibly get more medication? I've already ordered some. But it's a stopgap measure, right? I still need the operation. Well, it's not really an operation. We're just going to take a very tiny tube. Mr. McGregor explained the procedure to me. Will it take long? Not very. Nothing to be concerned about. I'll be right back. A moment, Doctor. A short one. I have surgery. I've been briefed on this procedure, and it sounds like it could be pretty dangerous. I understand the balloon device could tear her artery. And with surgery, there's a possibility of infection, and the graft may not work, so there's risk both ways. I also understand it's been a long time since you've done this. Would you like to call in another doctor? I am merely fact-finding, doctor, examining all the possibilities. After you finish with your examining, uh, let me know. Excuse me. There you are. Simple as it looks. Great, let me try it. Yeah, just a second. I'm going to get some water. How about you? Uh, sure. We were talking about McIntyre. Has uh, he have any more relatives? Um, well, there's uh, his Aunt Minnie. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, she was just here yesterday, actually. She brought him a gift. Oh? Mm -hmm. She's a little odd. I mean, she's a nice old gal. And he likes her a lot. Uh, she lives down in Big Sur. No telephone, no radio, no TV, nothing. Sounds good to me. Oh, it is, except when you want to get a hold of her. John says that uh, you're easy to get a hold of. You're always out there in that RV. <laughs> Didn't know he cared. John has a lot to say about you. Yeah, let's get you going. How tall are you? Uh, 5'11". Okay. 
So, uh, what do you say? Oh, this, that, you know, plus or minus, depending on his mood. He's got all that contract stuff, you know? How's that? That feels pretty good. Like what? Oh, don't pay it any mind. I've seen your work. I think you're very tidy. What, he said I was sloppy? You know, I don't recall. But lazy, sloppy, doesn't matter. He's under a lot of pressure. Hey, wait, wait, wait. I'm sure he was joking, you know. I mean, that, that kind of thing he'd tell me. You're, you're a good friend of his. Rough, you know, giving a buddy less work. Wait, he said that? Maybe he thought you needed a rest. Just waiting for the right time to tell you. you know. <laughs> Want to try it all the way? Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay. Okay. Hang loose. I gotta go. Uh, JD. JD. Where are you going? Is the uh, gallbladder serious? The IVP now? Are you still in pain? There is pain. I am not in it. My body has pain. I am elsewhere. Uh huh. Okay, uh, well, unfortunately, medication... Would mask the symptoms, yes, I know. Yes, so what I would like to do is bring in a GI man and do a gastroscopy. That's another kind of test. As you must. I will cure myself before then. But I knew all this. Why have you come? Oh, just concern. And we met someplace before. Another time, perhaps, on another plane. Yeah, yeah. Maybe it was on a plane. Okay, well, get some rest. As you wish. Mm. Rest before the test. And cram before exams. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Rest before the test, cram before exams. Who used to say that? Somebody used to say that all the time. Test, exams. Where was it? School? Was it grade school, college? Harry? Is that you? I am, Govinda. No, you're not. You're Harry. Harry Schwartz from medical school. Let me say this. There was a Harry Schwartz. He is no more. His ego dissolved many years ago. I am Govinda. You get me, Stan? <laughs> You dropped out third year. You, you, you disappeared. Harry was a very unhappy man. He was looking for the meaning of life. He became a seeker. India, Tibet, Nepal. And what did Harry find? That there's a seeker born every minute. He saw many followers and very few leaders. He discovered that leading is definitely where it's at. So do you have many followers? The donations come in. Enough to keep the rolls in gas. You own a rolls? No, it's church property. And a Corvette. Oh, a dynamite vet. <laughs> and a ranch, a little summer retreat. It's a good life. So this, this thing about curing yourself... Oh, no, no. That works. That's the amazing thing. The concentration, the meditation. I really can cure myself. No, it's, it's all right. You see, our talk has broken my connection with the source. Okay, well then I'll, I'll, I'll let you redial or whatever. Stan, this uh, hairy person we spoke of will be our bond, our private knowledge, yes? Sure. Stop and see you again sometime. Have a nice karma. Harry Schwartz. I can't believe it. <laughs> no, it's nice to get away from the hospital for a while. It's a beautiful place. Well, I should have invited you sooner. I figured I'd get to know people a touch more person. You know? I've heard so much about you. It's true. What's true? That you're forthright, committed, 
take the stands on issues. I like that. Oh, well, Important thank you. issues. Women's rights, equal pay. Do you support... That's why pay? I'm for Senator Taylor. She's for people, you know. Mm. I'd like to meet her. Uh, so her daughter at a rally was. Uh, Who is she, by the way? She could be better. Dr. McIntyre may do the angioplasty tomorrow. She's a good woman. Fine speaker. Mm. Oh, powerful. Be an honor to meet her. Say, do you, do you think she'd mind? I've been kind of following her case. A uh, Jackman? Well, I don't see sure, why just not. pop in and out, sort of official medical visit. Yeah, sure. Well, I hope Taylor wins. Firm stand on that ERA thing. Right. <laughs> yeah, had, had quite a tussle with McIntyre on that. Dr. McIntyre? Uh, he's in oh, favor he's of a it. good man. Kind of a quaint attitude sometimes. I guess he was just joking around. I think about the nurses. I, I find you all very cooperative, professional. Did he say we weren't? He was just joshing. He, he was goofing on me. Oh. Uh, you know that old thing about unwilling slaves. Slaves? Oh, oh, well, of course he was joking. He would never, ever say something like that seriously. A good paddling will bring him around. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> oh, well, of course he was joking. Yeah, well, he, he is always fun in that man. Uh, like all those stories that he tells about you in the locker room. Yeah, I just... Like those stories. My blood pressure's still up, they say. Still getting headaches. All this medication doesn't seem to be working. How are you? I just told you. That's your body, your illness. How are you? My press release says I'm cheerful and optimistic. Miss Taylor. Jacqueline, I'm sure that your official statement is very quotable. But I'm asking about you. Jacqueline, before all speeches, Jacqueline down inside, growing up in the yard, Way back before all the campaigns, all the elections, way, way back. Did you see her? That was a long time ago. But you can see her. Close your eyes. Come on. Close your eyes. Now there's a little Jacqueline in the yard, little Jackie, on a swing. Back and forth. Back and forth. See her? Yes, I see her. How is she, little Jackie? What's she feeling right now? She's scared. She doesn't understand the headaches, the dizziness, the pain. Go on. The pain. She hates the pain. She's too young. Yes, you are too young. How old are you? Jackie, right now. How old are you? Twenty-five. Twenty-five. I'm only twenty-five. I don't want to have a stroke. I don't want to die. I won't let you. Look at me, Jackie. I want to help you. Do you want me to help you? Yes. Please help me. That's why I'm here. Round the clock, I'll be here, okay? Thank you. And getting those feelings out will help you. Just, just talk, and I'll be right here, listening. Okay? Yes, ma'am. We're gonna lick this thing, you and me, together, okay? Stand, take it easy. Easy? As in casual, uncaring, so that I misdiagnose a patient? <laughs> Not that easy. Or maybe you mean easy as in slow, so that I lose a trauma victim. Just easy. Meaning? Easy, that's all. Well, I don't take it easy, John, and neither does any of my staff. And don't you forget it. <laughs> John McIntyre, of all people, I can't believe it. In fact, I don't believe it. 
Neither do I. Whatever it is. If it's true, shame on you. The things you said. What did I say? Never mind. Just remember, the nurses are the most cooperative professionals in this hospital. Of course they are. I'm going now, okay? And if you ever have a problem with them, would you come to me? What else would I do, Ernie? Spank them? Very funny. Now, here's one for you. If you so much as touch one of my people, I will go to the board and create such a stink, they'll smell it in Pittsburgh. Laugh at that one. What are you talking about? And don't you ever, not even in jest, don't you ever call one of my people a slave. You got that, Dr. McIntyre? <laughs> Old man Riverside slices deep, in the woods, out of sight. No, I go help look, but I drop a ball about ten feet from the fairway. Must have hit a tree, I said. <laughs> Never seen a man so happy. <laughs> but did he win? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> I see you know how to handle our chairman. That's good to know. <laughs> yeah, I kind of figured that. What were we talking about before? Oh, oh, that, um, that thing with Gates the other day. I want to apologize for that. Well, what for? Well, that's none of my business. I don't want to button in. But I, I think I have Gates on my side now. Maybe I can give him a friendly kick in the pants and get his turnover time up, you know, just as a friend, fellow surgeon. You know what I mean? You know, J.D., I like the way you think. Thank you, Ernie. I think we're going to get along just fine. <laughs> worse. I can't think. She's had some nausea and vomiting. Everything's a blur. Dr. McIntyre may want to do the procedure right away. I'll tell him. Jacqueline? It's gonna be better soon. I promise. Tell the nurse to call me if she gets any worse. All the phone calls. I'm due downstairs. Well, Mr. Factus, bypass is important, too. Take a message. Long distance. Where from? All right, I'll take it. Yes, go on. Govinda, understand. Your pain is getting worse. You're trying to hide it, but you can't. I must only center myself. It will pass. But what if it doesn't? We looked at the small bowel follow-through. We think there's an adhesion of some kind. We'd like to do a CAT scan of your abdomen. And if the pain gets any worse, they'll have to do exploratory surgery anyway. No. No. This will pass. You are interrupting my concentration. Please go now. It will all be over soon. You'll see. Yes, well, here's a consent form for you to look over when you're not concentrating. I'll read it in great detail, if that will make you happy. Thank you. Look, Harry. Govinda. Whatever you're doing is not working. Maybe you're just not ready yet. Do a miracle next year. Let us help you now. Stan. If I blow this, it's the whole enchilada. The followers lose faith. Donations drop off. I just have to do it. And I will. Stan. Believe it. Please. Just believe it. I'll try. <laughs> Something wrong, doctor? My Aunt Minnie, she had a heart attack. Just got a call. Civilian rescue has her on a chopper headed for Monterey General. Oh, I'm sorry. You have a problem, doctor? I need to get to Monterey. Uh, relative's in trouble. Oh. 
I got a problem with the Taylor case. Well, how, how's she doing? Well, according to this, she was stable all night. Alert, oriented, finally. No telling how long it'll last. Uh, John, you get going. You know, I've been following her case. I'll watch her. I won't leave her side. Just get back as soon as you can. I don't know. I really hate to leave. Come on. You take care of Minnie. I'll, I'll get Gates. You're covered. All right. Thanks, J.D. You bet. on Jacqueline Taylor. I put her on our nitroprusside drip. She finally got her pressure down. But I'm going ahead with the procedure now before she gets in any more trouble. Well, wait, she's Trapp's patient. Dr. McIntyre's not here. He, he left me in charge. He's gone? Where? Why? I don't rightly know. But I do know that girl has to be treated now. I, uh, I have her consent. Her mother's on the way. She wants to see her up and around tomorrow. Up and around and uh, alive. <laughs> Excuse me, guys. McIntyre's office. Trapper, where are you? I'm on my way back. What happened in Monterey? Is Minnie all right? She never got to Monterey. Oh, I'm so sorry. The civilian rescue never got a call. I got through to Ferdy. He hiked up to her place. She was fine. She was never sick. I can't figure it out. Well, we'll figure it out when you get back. How's Jacqueline doing? Well, Everett's doing the angioplasty right now, as a matter of fact. What are you talking about? She was stable when I left. What gave you that idea? It was on her chart. Who the hell was watching her all night? Dr. Everett. Everett? He said... Never mind, I'm on my way. Getting close to home, Jackie. Almost there. Almost there. And we're right where we should be. Up the balloon, and there'll be no more pain. Just like I promised. No more pain. How is she, Doctor? Did it work? Miss Taylor's doing fine. And the angiogram looks good. Real good. Senator Taylor's on her way. She wants to see you at a press conference. Anything to help, sir? Anything? Excuse me. John, I've been waiting for you. Where's Everett? Inside with Senator Taylor. We nearly lost the girl when you were off on your wild goose chase. Senator Taylor's extremely upset. The board wants your head on a platter. And you're in really deep trouble with everyone. Mr. Slocum, I've been briefed on the current situation at this hospital. And I would like you and the board to strongly consider Dr. Everett as your new chief of surgery. Good day. Diego, as soon as possible. Ah, good morning, Miss Taylor. Well, how you doing? She's doing fine, no thanks to you. 
I'm sorry I wasn't here, but there were extenuating circumstances. I've been told about that. Your mysterious phone call. You didn't even check her before you left. Weren't you aware of her condition? Well, her chart indicated that uh, she was stable during the night, had no pain. Dr. Everett assured me. That's ridiculous. Dr. Everett marked that chart himself. It's a good thing you asked him to consult. Oh, I asked him. <laughs> yes, of course. We were damn lucky he was here. This hospital will be very fortunate to have him in charge. Excuse us. Trap, we figured it out. The fake charts, the fake phone call. Everett practiced that procedure. He kissed up to Slocum in Old Man Riverside. And now he's got Senator Taylor in his pocket. Have you seen these lab reports on Govinda? We're talking about Everett, Trap. The man is dangerous. He changed Jacqueline's medical records. With every intention of saving her life when the time came. Nice job, too. You mean you're defending this guy? Trapper, excuse me, Trapper, I figured it out. Everett's been after your job all along. That's what we're trying to tell him. The man has spread ridiculous, nasty rumors about you. He's a troublemaker, Trap. The guy thrives on it. They're going to make him chief of surgery. They're meeting this afternoon. I know. I was invited. And you're just going to sit there? He's a backstabbing liar. He'll turn this place into a pit. you got to stop him. McIntyre. Right. It's Govinda. I'm going to take these with you. It'll be all right. I know. I know. What's going on? Uh, we found him in severe pain. I don't get it. Uh. The gastroscopy, Emily's acid studies were all normal. Take a look at these. Call O.R. and get them prepped for surgery. I am calling the source. The source's phone is out of order. That obstruction we talked about, it's real. It's there, and we have to do something about it now. Please, let him operate. Okay, okay. <clears throat> you do what you must. I must concentrate. John. Oh, J.D. Have a seat, John, please. Hey, you know, this, um, this situation is kind of awkward for me. Yeah, me too. It's a pure coincidence. It's events just falling together. <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. I'm sorry, John. No need. Um... Actually, that's what I wanted to tell you. It's not easy for me, J.D. Go ahead, John. You can be straight with me. Okay. While I was negotiating here, I... Uh, I got some feelers. You know, other places. A good bargaining position. It's understandable completely. And I... Uh, got some offers. Better offers. One, uh, I couldn't refuse. Good, good. Honestly, I mean, you talked it up so much. I mean, the numbers were so good. I mean, salary, expense account, extras, perks. Washington Medical? I should have told you, but I was using it for leverage. And I, I was seriously considering it. I... <laughs> That's something. That, that is something. Is the uh, offer firm? Well, close enough. They've narrowed it down to just a couple of us. It's, of course, at this point, it's pretty much a horse race. <laughs> Listen, uh, will you need me around long? Oh, no. No, no. But that's terrific, John. Congratulations. Same to you. Um, no, never mind. What is it? Well, I, I was just thinking, you know, the uh, incident uh, yesterday. Uh, you don't think it'll hurt me? Oh, no, I don't think it will, John. That was a fluke. You're a valuable man. 
And the girl is just fine. Will there be a limo with the uh, wash? That's what they say. Limo, expense account, penthouse apartment. Dan, his vital signs are fine. Is this guy a friend of yours? We met in uh, another lifetime. Whatever you say. All right, retraction, please. Let's take a look. So, what is it? What? Uh -huh. The organs are okay. Let's, uh, let's run the bell. The adhesion, can you see it? There's nothing to see, Stan. The x-ray showed it. There must be. Come on, run it again. Okay, but I'm telling you, there's nothing to see. There's no adhesions, no twists, no stenosis, no adenopathy, nothing. He's clean. Whatever was there is gone now. And what was it? I don't know. All we can do is close him up and wait for the symptoms to come back. Oh, general closure for Kurt Neal. Good grief. Harry? You did it. Sincerely, Senator Miriam Taylor. That's it. You've heard the reports and the recommendations. Mr. Dobb here has outlined the proposed contract. Does anyone want to make a statement before we vote? John? Will someone make a motion? Uh, hold on, Mr. Slocum. I, I can't let this happen. May I speak? Well, certainly. I believe that Dr. McIntyre has been a victim of circumstances here. He left because he thought that a relative was in grave danger. He believed that Miss Taylor was in stable condition. I have discovered some possible mishandling of her records. But he is in no way to blame. Dr. McIntyre is a respected, trusted, skilled surgeon, fine administrator. And when all the facts come clear, you are going to see that he belongs here. Well, you all know that down deep. In, in my heart, I... I I couldn't take the position away from the man that deserves it. I'm, I'm afraid that I must decline your offer. If you'll excuse me, I, I have a plane to catch immediately. I just got a phone call about an urgent business matter in Washington. I want to thank you all for your trust in me. Well, if you'll excuse me. I felt that. Well, uh, there will be a complete inquiry into this, of course. Uh, and barring any complications, Dr. McIntyre's negotiations will resume. Now, if uh, no one objects, this meeting is adjourned. Telling you, I cured myself. I told you I could do it. Harry, there is a perfectly reasonable medical explanation. <laughs> of course. I made contact with the source. For the last time, now listen to me. It could have been the anesthesia. I mean, sometimes that can relax the bowel all by itself. Even making the incision can do that. Stan, think of my followers. If you told them something like that, 
All right, all right. If anyone asks, it was a spontaneous remission cause unknown. Thank you. Oh, Stan, if I should make contact with this Harry you spoke of. Wish him good luck for me. Rashanda Manda. It's been hard to find around here lately. No, oh, no. No, you've been holding out on me for days, Trap. Next one costs you. What'd you do to Everett? Nothing. We just talked. What about that phone call? Well, I hear he got an offer from Washington Medical. Chief of surgery. Big job. Lots of perks. And you made the call. A fake. Huh? Would I do a thing like that? So he just slithers away and takes one of the top hospital jobs in the country, scot-free? Well, I'm sure when, when the board finishes its investigation, he'll uh, get exactly what he deserves. Yeah, but meanwhile, he spreads his poison around at Washington. Oh, I don't think so. All right, things may be up in the air for a little while, but uh, let's just say Washington Medical is under renovation at the moment. 